Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be replacing the keyboard in an Elite Book 8570P HP notebook. And it's real easy to do, and I'll show you the steps to do it. First of all, you want to unplug it, obviously. Flip it over. I'm going to apologize in advance for the shoddy camera work because I'm trying to film it and show you how to do this at the same time. You got two levers on the back. First one, you want to pop out your battery. Second one, you want to slide that over. In this case, comes off, which I really love that design. Real easy to work on. And then you got three screws. You'll see a little keyboard icon or whatever that is. You got one here, one here, so two by your fan, and then one by the RAM, which is right, right there. So I'm going to pop these out real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Screws are out. And just so you know, they don't actually come all the way out. They kind of stay in place there, which is good, so you don't lose them. So just loosen them all the way. All right, I got the notebook open now. It's on its side. And what you want to look for is right here where the battery was. Right past my finger, not this copper thing here, but right past there is the back of the keyboard. And then just take a little flathead screwdriver and gently as possible a little plastic soft pry tool will be better but just kind of push it out until it pops out and I'm gonna have to cut the camera for a minute while I do that okay so I got that corner to pop loose enough where I can get my finger underneath there and you just kind of try and gently work the rest of it out there we go should pop right out and then just flip it over like this then you got two cables to unhook and all you do is that little black piece on each one flip it upwards towards you and that comes out real easy and like so and pull your keyboard away and here comes the replacement and Installation is just the reverse of what you just did. So you just hook these ribbons back up right in there and push it all the way in. Make sure it's straight all the way across and then flip that plastic piece down and put it all back together and you're done. So I'm not going to film all that and I think you get the idea from this point. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it helps you. Thanks for watching.